Welcome to Lessons in Life and Love with Rihanna Milne, where we show you how to have the positive mindset for success in all life areas. It's time to have the life you desire and the love you deserve. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Season 2, Show 67 of Lessons in Life and Love podcast. I am your host and global life and love coach, Rihanna Milne, coming to you every Friday on the LessonsInLifeAndLove.com website and on my app, Lessons in Life and Love, on the go, as well as your favorite podcast app. I'm all about helping you transform your life in all areas into one that you're passionate about and to have you attract and have the love that you deserve. I'm on a mad mission to help to change the way the world loves. So you'll learn all about how to have emotionally healthy, evolved, and conscious love and how to avoid toxic, painful relationships that are just too prevalent today. It's time to create the life that you desire and to have the love that you deserve. So at any time during the week, if you're struggling, reach out to me at rihannamilne.com and arrange to meet with me for a life and love transformation discovery session and assessment. We'll dive deep into the issues that are troubling you the most and help you make an action plan for the next step for the journey in life that you desire. Okay, love angels and transformers, let's get going. Today's guest is Melanie Warner. She helps people to get their book completed, published, and marketed. She teaches them how to write a book that is profitable and how to align it with a business that makes a difference for others. As a writer, Melanie had a collective readership of 3 million readers each month. She owns magazines and is a frequent TV and radio guest, sharing the stories from her various books. She hosts a weekly TV show called Defining Moments that allows other people to share their defining moments and inspiring stories. Melanie is also a master life and business coach who helps people use simple tools for self-healing, managing fear, and overcoming life-changing setbacks. Welcome to the show, Melanie. How are you? Thank you, Rihanna. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. You have a really important and powerful message. You certainly went through a whole lot in your life. I mean, what was your biggest challenging in life? I, I read a little bit about it, but... Why don't, I'd like to hear it from your point of view. Oh, thank you. Um, I would say that so many of us have a defining moment in their life, and I've certainly had more than one. Yes. Um, and I think the biggest defining moment for me that really changed everything was the, the point where my son, my business, and my marriage were all three on life support at the same time. And mm. I had to make some really hard decisions, so I kind of white-knuckled and just held on to everything like I could. Yeah, And my son ended up dying in my arms, which was the most horrific thing I've so ever experienced. Sad. Oh, That's and so it's sad. now been, thank you. And it's been 14 years. Mm. Um, and what happened is I just shut down so hard emotionally that I just didn't care, to be honest, if my marriage survived or my business, I didn't care about money. I just, you know, I almost died at the same time. This was from a medical error at the hospital. Oh, jeez. And we were both completely healthy and I, I kind of had to learn a lot about the medical industry. I, I became somewhat of a medical advocate unbeknownst to me. That was not what I intended to be mm -hmm. and went into a more of a new career of like grief and, 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 and helping people bounce back because what happened is when I shut down so hard, it forced me to lose so much more than my son. And yeah. as hard as that was, it also kind of, gave me purpose in that pain to be able to do the things I'm doing now, which is to help other people rebuild their lives, restart, start over, bounce back, you know, and yeah. because of all that, I kind of became known as bounce back babe or grief girl. And it wasn't exactly a flag I wanted to wear, you know? <laughs> oh. um, I mean, you I definitely love... went through a hardship there. I mean, to lose oh, a yeah. child has got to be devastating. It was and the worst thing definitely You ever. were in shock. You were in PTSD. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, no doubt yes. That you and that's know. why I love meeting you. I love meeting you, and I love being able to watch your videos and learn so much from you. I mean, you what you're doing is so phenomenal. I just want to thank you so much from the bottom oh, of my heart for thank you for all you've been through and using your pain to find purpose, not only for yourself but the people that you're helping to heal. Because I know how hard that is, and I'm so grateful that you're out there doing that. Thank you. It is nice. We, we touch a lot of lives, you and I, and, and that does give us purpose. And it makes sense out of the pain that way, doesn't it? Absolutely. And it, yeah. I found it to also be very cathartic to help other people. 
Um, like right now I talk to people every day and some of them are literally suicidal because their lives are in disarray. They're upside down from a divorce or their business has, has failed or mm. they have millions of dollars owed in tax audits. And I'm like, that's it. That's all you got. Cause like, yeah. to me, everything I've been through and survived in my lifetime, which is this, what I shared with you is just this much. I mean, I know that it's equipped me to help people dig deep and teach them kind of coach them through the process of how to rebuild their lives. And one of the most powerful things I think that I learned in this process is how valuable your story is, mm -hmm. you know, and, and everybody has such an amazing story, which is why we kind of created this concept of defining moments and uh, giving people this opportunity and platform to share their stories, either in one of our books or help them share their own story in their own book and then get it out there and show them how to make money from it and profit from it. So they're not just spinning their wheels trying to be another author out there. Right. So how did you get started in the self-help industry? Did you start by writing your own book first or well, you just had this passion to help others share their story? It's a great story. But the funny thing is I first got involved in self-help when I was 15 years old. My dad, when I was born, um, I lived in Texas and my dad was a Dale Carnegie teacher. Like he actually oh, taught yeah. Dale Carnegie courses when I was growing up. So he's an attorney and he was a judge as well. And his punishment when I got grounded when I was 15 years old was I was forced to have to read How to Win Friends and Influence People by oh. Dale Carnegie. And I was like, I don't need any more friends. Like I was really annoyed. <laughs> Can't you just brown me like a regular dad or spank me and not make me such a nerd, you know? Yeah. And so his goal was to ground me, but it absolutely grounded me and got me so deeply involved in self-help. And from there I started reading, you know, Norman Vincent Peale. Yes. Um, I started studying when I was really young with Tony Robbins, who became a personal mentor. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I just love him. We talked about that. Yeah. And yes. some of the synergies and you know, the difference of just, reading somebody's book or listening to their podcast and, and actually working with them one-on-one -on -one or like learning from their wisdom as a mentorship role to me was just such an incredible life-changing experience. And so from that point on, ever since I was 18 years old, the advice that I was given by successful people is listen to the people who have what you want. Mm -hmm. So if someone else has survived something or they have wisdom and advice and experience of what you want to do, it makes more sense to listen to them, work with them, spend the money to save yourself a few years, you know? And so all the things that I've now accomplished and done in my life, I have gone through that process of working with a mentor and learning how to do something so that I'm not trying to figure it out the hard way anymore. And who are some of your mentors that stick out, you know, as you did your journey, who were the ones you enjoyed working with the most? Definitely Tony. He's just got such a pure heart. And I just yes. love the fact that he's so willing to give everything and teach people transformational healing. Um, so I went through the whole strategic intervention course to become a master life coach and a master business coach. And all of those things were helpful, not only in my own healing, but now what I'm doing and helping other people launch their own businesses or find a way to make their book and their story a profit margin for their life to where their book drives their business and vice versa. Um, also, Mark Victor Hansen was very powerful mentor oh, yeah. for years. And Jack Canfield, again, went to the source. If you want to learn how to make a book, go to the people who sold more books than the Bible on this planet. You know? <laughs> That's right. And they were all so generous. And, and yes, I did spend the money and the time to learn how to do it. I went to their seminars. I paid the money for their master classes. I spent thousands of dollars and many years learning how to do this. And I remember the turning point for me was when I was trying to finish my first book. And it took me years because I didn't realize all the fear and doubt swarming around oh. that was preventing me from taking action to actually write it and finish it. And I thought I needed validation from somebody. So I remember Mark saying to me, and you know, the first book was very, in our series, we have a book series called Defining Moments, which is mm -hmm. like chicken soup, but it's a very specific solution for people going through one particular problem. So the very first book in the series was about parents who were coping with the loss of a child. And that was kind of the target demo. Right. We have 50 different stories. This is actually a copy of that book here. That's pretty. Um, yeah. Thank you. Good cover. Nice. Thank you. And mm -hmm. so I was struggling to finish it, Rihanna. And one thing Mark said to me is he said, stop thinking of who your book is going to help and start thinking of who you're going to hurt if you don't finish mm. it. 
And it hit me like a ton of bricks. And the next day, this woman in my hometown stepped in front of a train and took her own life because her son had died 15 years prior. And this poor soul had been suffering for 15 years. And I thought, you know, I could have helped this person. I could have given her tools and knowledge. And it made me feel horrible because I thought my own fear and doubts about this process that's task driven, not emotionally driven, is keeping me from helping someone else and could potentially save somebody else's life. Yeah. So that was a real wake up call for me. And within, after that happened, I finished my book literally in two months. So yeah. And so that was, I think they were definitely early influencers and they basically gave me the business model to use and said, here, here's everything. We're, We're transparent. We want you to succeed. Yeah, I want to hit on that, uh, you know, investing in your coaches. It's the same as me. You know, some people say, oh, Rihanna, you went global from a local psychotherapist office. You make it look so easy. Well, it's over $350,000 worth of educational investment. Absolutely. Uh, My business coach, Lisa Satchevich, I was with for a year. Do invest to get to the next level. So then invest a publishing coach because I wanted my books in Barnes and Noble and to get on number one best-selling list too. If there's a will, there's a way. But yes, you do need to learn from the people that are your mentors, your experts. And they're Absolutely. out there teaching, which is a wonderful gift. So and why it, not work with the best that you possibly can? You know? And it's funny, I, most people understand that theory. And the reality can be very different because fear will rob you of so much more than any ex in your life ever could. <laughs> That's true. Because so many people, this inner critical voice, the inner author that I like to call it, will cut you short of your dreams and goals and getting your story out. And what I found is that for anybody that's writing a book, and you've experienced this, I'm sure as well, is they go through these doubts of like, who am I to write a book? And what if no one's going to listen to me? What if no one wants to hear it? So for us, we work with people to help them plan and research their book. So the biggest mistake they make is starting to write it without knowing who are you writing it for? Mm-hmm. And, you know, what is the solution or the problem that you're going to solve for that person, especially if it's self-help and nonfiction? Yeah, that's what we would call your avatar, your ideal client. You know, who exactly. would that be? For me, it would be a woman successful in business, but struggles in love. That is my ideal, most common client. I would say 90% of my uh, clients. Hello, that's me. <laughs> But I do work with also young men, older women, LGBT population, kids in high school transitioning into college, those coming out of college transitioning into their new life, their workforce. It is the avatar. Who is that ideal client? If other people enjoy it too, that's perfectly fine. Absolutely. Yeah. My editor said, Rihanna, you have to work right towards one person, one set. Yes. I'm glad you said that. I was just thinking that as you were saying that again, a big problem is people say, Oh, I want to write for everybody. I want everybody to have hope. And I was just having this conversation on our team call last week with our authors who are going through this process. And Mm -hmm. they're like, but you know, they want to include everybody because they have such big hearts. But the thing is there's such a small segment of people that are really going to invest in themselves and have the ability to actually commit to something that isn't about everybody else. That drive, that definitely dedication to getting the help that they want and need. Absolutely. And it's funny. I was talking to my 18-year-old son who's graduated from high school in a few months. Woohoo! Finally. Got two down, (laughs) one to go. (laughs) And even he understood. I mean, this is a young kid who's grown up with a mom like me who's very entrepreneurial. And I came from a long history of entrepreneurs in my family. Yeah. Um, my mom's side, I'm related to the Wright brothers. My dad's side, I'm related yeah. to the Tap and Stowe family. So it's always an interesting mix when you look at our history of all these crazy ideas that our family has had. <laughs> and we've all been entrepreneurs for so many years. So for me, there's no fear in going to do this because I've seen it in a successful model all my life. Yes. But to people who've never experienced that, that growth or launching a business or growing a business, marketing to find your clients. I mean, Here's the way I look at that. If you want rice, you go to the store. You don't plant a field. Right. right. <laughs> so, so many people get stuck in not being able to go invest to find the right client. And now with all these online forums and everything, it's just easier than ever to find the people that are right for your service if your book is going to be a conversion lead for your, for your business. Mm-hmm. And, and it's funny, my son, even at 18, he said, hey, mom, I understand like what you said. 
I'd spend 85,000 to learn how to make 350 who wouldn't. That's right. Right. But there are a lot of people who don't because in their mind, they're like, Ooh, how do I get that money? Well, that goes also down to the childhood trauma, not feeling worthy to spend that kind of money on themselves. And that's absolutely the problem. (laughs) You know, we want to get you over that childhood trauma, not the mindset for success so that you believe in yourself and your projects. When I was writing my book, Love Beyond Your Dreams, Break Free of Toxic Relationships to Have the Love You Deserve, I was writing it for my own healing. I was doing all this research on what did my ex-partner have and why did I attract myself to him and why did this explode like it did? And it's like, wow, I need to share this with the world. I need to share this Mm -hmm. with my therapy clients. I need to put it in a manuscript of some type. I didn't sit down and say, I'm writing a 400 page book. Right. You know, I really didn't want it to be that long, but I couldn't take, keep anything out of it, you know? And in the beginning I did say, you know, this is geared towards adult women. However, men will find a lot of benefit from it too, you know, mm-hmm. but you have to write towards one person. So I know that's part of what you do, right? What is your superpower and how do you help people get that story from in their heart? and minds out to the world. Well, that's really what it is. We spend um, about eight weeks working with somebody to develop their story. And the first few weeks is really just about discovering your purpose, making sure that's the right superpower. And sometimes people will completely do a 180. uh, For They might have a book idea or an outline of something. And then they may realize this, you know, this is a great idea or maybe it's not. Because the problem is we have to write about what people want to read about. Yes. Not what we want to talk about. And I've been a magazine publisher for over 25 years and I've built public platforms. I was a DJ at 15 years old. So mm-hmm. I've, I'm very used to being in front of people on a public scale and having to have this interaction where if I say this, they do that. Mm-hmm. And so it's encouraging people to test market things, to try different things before they actually commit to it. And we actually show people in our course how to start making money back and getting clients and getting feedback from those clients in the real world before you actually write one word. Hi singles. Are you really ready to have a love relationship? If you're not sure, it's time for you to take the love test. Couples, you're in an exclusive relationship. Do you or your partners have any of the red flags you should be concerned about? Do you think you or they have childhood trauma? Go to RihannaMilne.com and do the free love tests. There are tests there for both singles and couples. If you have any concerns after taking those tests and reviewing the answers, then sign up for a Life & Love Transformation Discovery Session and Assessment. This is a one-hour private session with me where I go over your love tests and get to the bottom of where you're stuck and what the next best move would be to get you on your way to having that life that you desire and the love that you deserve. It's time to learn how to move forward to reach all your goals and dreams. Go to RihannaMilne.com, my website, and sign up for the free love test, or simply just directly go to the Life & Love Transformation Discovery Session tab. And I look forward to meeting with you to see how I can help you best. It's funny, there's a guy in my class, he's actually here in town this week because we've been meeting and he's severely dyslexic. His name is Paul and he's a third generation contractor. When he came to me, literally had $12 to his name and he was like, there's no way I could write a book. But he knew the pain of saying the same thing every day for an hour or two to every client, every contractor, every piece or part of his system. Every time he got a new job, he would have to do that. And it was it was so hard for him to communicate that. And he, got, he thought, how can I duplicate myself? So we actually did this for him. And, and we have a whole different way of doing it for someone like that, because it's more about recording it and transcribing it. But he had so much knowledge up here that he couldn't just extract and get out there. So we helped him do that. And he made $40,000 in the first 30 days it's amazing. From, before he's even written his book. Now he's so busy doing jobs, he can't even finish his book, which is a good <laughs> problem to have. Right. Um, But we're building a whole program based around his strengths and expertise. And he's already got people saying, hey, how can I hire you to do this? And now he's just spread really thin between doing these jobs and finishing the materials and staying on track. So that's really what we do is help people keep accountable to their goal. And we we basically do it in eight weeks. We our our course is called how to 
write your best selling book in eight weeks or less and make a profit, even if no one has ever heard of you, which okay. is really half the battle. That's right. That's right. Excellent. So what would you say is the, the part where you struggled with the most in business? Was it growing the business, just getting the idea out there? I think for most people, because I'm a serial entrepreneur, I think for me, I have zero fear in starting yeah. a new business. I could do it tomorrow. I love it. I aim and then shoot. <laughs> <laughs> for me personally, my biggest challenge was always, I never got emotional about business or money or taxes. It, it was more like personally, like losing someone I love. When I went through my divorce, when I lost my son, like that emotion just shut me down and it mm -hmm. affected my business and my income and my life and my health and everything else. Yeah. So I found that if you focus on one aspect in your life, it's going to help repair everything else. And that is personal development. So when you focus on your own relationship with yourself and with, for, for me, it's my relationship with myself and God, I mm -hmm. do feel that things get better. My finances improve, my health improve, my relationships all got better all the way around. And that was definitely the best investment that I've made in myself that affected my business too. Very good. If you were to start over again, uh, what would you go back and say to your 18 year old self? You know, I was very lucky to have been given that advice of listen to the people who have what you want. Mm -hmm. And I listened to that advice. And every time in my life that I have stuck with that theory and hired a mentor and worked with them, I'm happy to write a check if it's going to save me years out of my life, That's knowing right. what I the want to do. Yeah. Oh, and, and so <laughs> ever since my whole life, I've had any success. The minute I want to scale, I go to a mentor and it's like, you know, I remember what it was like to say, I want to make, you know, a hundred thousand a year. And then it was like, okay, now I want to make a hundred thousand a month. Okay. Now I'm going to do that in a week. And now I've done it in an hour and there's no way I can do that without working with my mentors. Um, mm -hmm. Another one was Frank Kern, who is a brilliant uh, internet marketing guy. Yeah. And he developed a CRM that we work with as well. So he's taught me a lot. Um, and it's just like, it's amazing how many people are out there that, I mean, yes, there's a lot of people doing similar things, but you have to figure out who do you mesh with? Who do you drive with? And when you find somebody that believes in you and you believe in them and you can build that relationship and grow, it just is amazing where they can take you. Yeah. So, that's wonderful. That's great. Yeah. So um, I would get, I'd do the same advice and, and I, I would take the same advice. <laughs> right, right. Because I know it works. Have you helped other entrepreneurs with this same spirit? I know you help oh, your clients. But. Absolutely. I, am, I own magazines as well. So I help 90% of what I do, Rihanna, is help people manage their fear. So I have clients that are afraid to spend money on ads or branding or marketing because they're like, what if I lose money? And what I help them understand is that fear of losing a few hundred bucks a month is going to overshadow their opportunity to make $500,000, right? Like it's yeah. not about losing a few hundred. It's what are you not making? Because one client spent four or five years threatening to do something. He finally came in. His goal was only to make an extra hundred thousand a year. And he procrastinated for almost four years. And when it finally kicked in and he was making that 10,000 a month, he went, Oh, now I get it. Don't yeah. tell my wife, <laughs> you know, and she'll kill me for not doing this four years ago. Right. And, yeah, it is overcoming the fear. There's a lot of people growing up with the messages of lack. There's not yes. enough. You know, the 10 childhood traumas, you know, gets in the way. And that's why clearing yourself of that trauma that's stored in the brain and the body and living a more consciously awake life, having spirituality, the faith, as you mentioned, too, so important for growth and taking on that next challenge. That helps yes. the fear. When you have faith, it, it eliminates the fear. You're right, because faith and fear cannot coexist. Right. And, and you know, I always tell people, if you don't believe in, in God and you don't pray, as soon as you start a small business, you will. <laughs> You'll <laughs> yeah, be on right. your knees every day going, help me. Yes. And the idea is that fear, all fear is really about rejection. So if you can work with them and help people overcome those childhood traumas about mm -hmm. rejection, and you can go back in that timeline and correct that, yeah, I found that that's life changing for yeah, people. Yeah, that's what we do. It is. It's yeah, incredibly it's awesome. life changing. It's beautiful. I love to help people. Usually, people have gone through my course and then they start referring people mm -hmm. because they know what they've gotten out of it. You know, I have families refer brothers and sisters because they grow up with the same parental situation. Yes. Right. Wow, this has changed my life. I want my brother to heal from this or my sister to get that's the great. same knowledge. What drives you the most? You know, it's funny. It used to be, I was so driven by just 
building things and I wanted to prove myself to the world and, and that I could do certain things. And I think there was this underlying insecurity when I was younger that became my drive. Mm -hmm. And it used to be about pleasing my parents or making them proud of me. And now I have kids. So now it's making my parents and my kids proud of me, which is a lot of pressure, right? When it's you put that lot. on yourself. Yes. However, I learned that, you know, rather than just going out and writing another book or starting another business, I've done so many things on my bucket list. I've been so blessed to have a life full of pursuing the things I love and I'm passionate about that what really drives me these days is helping other people get their stories out and launch their book. This model shows them how to make about 250,000 for the first year. There's no one else out there is in teaching that. Like writing courses aren't really teaching that. There really is a science to it. There is a process to it. And I cannot tell you how excited I am when I see these guys growing and I realize the impact of not only empowering other people to get their story out there and their stories and their books are making a difference, but now they're planting seeds in their clients to get their stories out there and make a difference. And it's creating this incredible butterfly effect that I'm just so proud of. And that just drives me more than anything to That's be able awesome. to, to be that catalyst to help people make those kind of changes and hit those goals. That's great. Now, so the people listening, I have a lot of people that are interested in writing books. How do they get a hold of you? And what's their next step? The best thing to do is visit my website. It's called mydefiningmoments.com. On that page, they can actually, as, as a guest of this show, they can actually download my free two-hour training. It's, a, it's an actual masterclass. I used to charge quite a bit for it. Now I offer it for free. Nice. So it's a two-hour masterclass training that walks you through the entire process of what we do. Mm -hmm. Then you can fill out an application, and we actually personally get on the phone where I want to hear their, their idea, their concept, and I want to kind of nurture that and see if this is a good space for them. Because okay. some people are so dead set yeah. on what kind of book they want to do. And that particular book may not work for this model. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes they can tweak it or I can refer them to some other option if it's not something we can help them with. We believe that we can help them make money from doing this and really launch their book. Not only do we finish that, we help them finish writing their book. We show them how to self-publish. We also guarantee the bestseller mm -hmm. status. And then we show them how to leverage that bestseller into the other things they're doing so that their book and their business becomes profitable. Okay. That sounds perfect. That's perfect, Melanie. Thank you for that wonderful gift. That's going to help a lot of people out. What would be your final words of wisdom to anyone listening to this show? I thought for years after taking all these classes and training with all these people that the goal was really to get my book out. And my book did come out with a major publisher about three years ago. However, by going that route, I didn't really have to pay money up front, but I only got a 20% royalty, which was really mm -hmm. high in the industry because most people are only getting 10%. What happened after three years of selling thousands of books and traveling all over the country and speaking at engagements and really building this brand for the book, I never got paid a dime. Jeez, so this major, terrible. one of the biggest publishers in the world never paid me. And then I noticed a lot of the major bookstores were filing bankruptcy and mm -hmm. they weren't paying the publishers and the publishers weren't paying me. So even though I still had a small 20%, 20% of nothing is still nothing. So wow. my mission, my movement, if you will, is to revolutionize the publishing industry and help authors keep 100% of their royalties, show them how to self-publish. We actually work with them and publish their books through our brand, but they keep 100% of the royalties and we show them how to market it successfully and how to leverage their position as an author to actually increase their business. If they're starting at zero, we want to show them how to go from zero to 250. Mm -hmm. If they're an existing business and they're already generating income, we show them how to scale that up from there. Right. And we basically work with them as not only a book coach, but more of a business consultant to help them grow and scale their business. And honestly, that's my biggest mission now is just, teaching people that they don't have to subject themselves to, you know, bad writing classes or, or major publishers that are going to basically make them do all the work still, but only give them 10%. Yeah. You know, in this scenario, they get to keep a hundred percent of their proceeds. Sometimes when you go through a major publisher, they change your book, they change your title. Yeah. They change everything to just sell copies of the book 
as opposed to actually helping the reader, which is what our goal is. Perfect. I love that. Thank you so much. Again, that's at mydefiningmoments.com. Make sure you download the very valuable two-hour class and then reach out to Melanie and apply to chat with her. Melanie, thank you so much and God bless you and your continuing journey of success. I think you're an amazing lady. Thank and I've got you. goosebumps with how much you've overcome in your life to Aww, create this so great much. service for so many people. So thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And thank you also, bless you for what you're doing, because I know that 90% of the people I talk to every day have some type of childhood trauma and I, they can benefit from your service as well. So I thank do plan you. to send some people to you. Be li lifetime friends. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I found <laughs> and that, that we've some, met people, each other. <laughs> some people want to write a book, but they're, they need to do personal development before they're really, really ready to write their book. And they don't yes. always know that. So I would rather them go through someone like you and resolve that so that they're really in a powerful position to be able to help somebody else through that. That's right. You know, yeah, they because have to the, feel the, great about themselves first. Yes, because the yeah. fear that goes through people is they say, how am I going to write a self-help book when I can't even help myself? Thanks Thank for you that. so much. You have a great Thank you. and a wonderful right. holiday. We'll see you soon. You too, Rihanna. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Okay, love angels and transformers. That's all we have time for today. I really want to thank our guest, Melanie Warner, for joining us today to hear about her beautiful story and journey um, that went from heartache and pain to purpose and much success. I appreciate you sharing the love and sharing the show link with people that you do care about and love and you know would benefit from this podcast. Please take a minute to subscribe to this podcast as well as leaving a five-star rating and a review. Do take a picture of that review and email it to rihannamilne at gmail.com to get a thank you gift from me worth $1,000. Great resources you can really use in life and love. Remember, you can reach out for help at any time during the week just by going to rihannamilne.com. While you're there, take advantage of taking the free love tests, downloading the book chapters of Live and Love Beyond Your Dream, my best-selling books, as well as connecting to my app, Lessons in Life and Love, on the go. If you want more information on childhood trauma, do download the free ebook at havetheloveyoudeserve.com. Havetheloveyoudeserve.com. And as always, I am here to help you create that life that you desire and to have the love that you deserve. Have a beautiful and blessed week. We want to thank you for joining us on this episode of Lessons in Life and Love with Coach Rihanna Milne. Go to RihannaMilne.com for more resources. And if you're really ready to take action to improve your life or love situation, apply now for a session with Rihanna. And remember, it's time to have the life you desire and the love you deserve.